I gotta tell you, I love this dish. Everybody who bites into it really loves it. You know, they feel like they're transported to a warm, tropical place, but it still feels very homey at the same time. That really is the magic of it. I love to travel. I travel all over the globe. You know, my grandfather's from China, ended up in the Caribbean, and then we moved to Alberta. So all of these different cultures really encompass and inspire what my cooking is about. But no dish really ties that together. For me, like the Mediterranean chicken samosa with apple, cumin, chutney, I really challenge you to not have more than one. Samosa is a traditional Indian dish. They make a pastry, a dough, basically. And then they fill it with potatoes, sometimes some carrots, peas, and then it's deep fried. This dish is just really a play off of that. We start with a little bit of lean ground chicken and a medium hot pan with a little bit of vegetable oil. I like to use ground up chicken thighs and I ask my butcher to do it. The flavor is a lot deeper and richer. Also, it's a little bit more fatty, so it stays a lot more juicy. Then I'll sweat that down with a little bit of garlic puree. I add some white onion, diced up, fairly fine. So I want to break this up because I also don't want big hunks of chicken, okay? I break it up, I break it up, up. I break it up, I break it up, up. It's gonna start rendering a little bit of fat and a little bit of like the chicken goodness. As that is starting to come together, I can start to season it with some of the flavors. So I got a little bit of chili flakes, a little bit of cumin, which is kind of flavors reminiscent of, you know, like Morocco or India, particularly. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pep. Yeah. Let it cool down. Time to move on to my apple chutney. You know, India and the Caribbean, we cook a lot with sweet and savory together, and it's not uncommon that we'll make a lot of chutneys. Although this is not a traditional Indian-style chutney or a traditional samosa, the concept is there, and I kind of want to bring the worlds back together, right? You take a Granny Smith apple, you peel it, you core it, you dice it down into manageable small pieces. And I got to cut the rest of this onion. Cook it till it's translucent. Add the apples, it'll start to render some of that liquid. I'll add a little bit of salt just to help that rendering process speed along a little bit. Then we take our sushi ginger or gari. If you ever order sushi, you've seen that on the side. It just adds a really bright flavor that works really well with the apples. Chop it down, add a little bit more cumin to kind of complement the flavors inside of the samosa. A little bit of brown sugar to liven up the apples. Once the apples are softened and all those flavors start to come together, I'll let that cool and then I can puree it. It kind of looks like a thick apple sauce at this stage. Then I'll add a little bit of yogurt to it, one part puree to one part yogurt, and then just mix it until it's nice and smooth. Once the chicken is cooled down fully to at least room temperature, then I add Mediterranean flavors with sage, chopped up, and the Asiago cheese grated fairly fine. Add in that chicken and make sure I get as much of that juice as possible. Just mix it up. So once the filling is totally cool, then I use spring roll wrappers. Cut these in half. Then along the top portion here, I'll add some egg wash. And then the bottom corner here like this, I'll add the chicken filling. And you fold it and you seal it with egg wash. That is one Mediterranean chicken samosa. Once the samosa bundles are ready to go, I just deep fry it in some vegetable oil, canola oil. It only takes about two, three minutes. You'll know when it's done because the color will change. It'll turn to a nice golden brown. When they're hot and wet, still out of the fryer, you season them well with salt and pepper. A little bit of the apple cumin chutney on the side with a little spoon. And just kind of line them up really simply. Now it's eating time. Once you bite into it, you feel like you're transported to another part of the world. That's good. It's the perfect balance of you know, all the flavors in one bite. It's really crunchy and crispy and light on the outside. Inside has just a little bit of that goo from the cheese. Add some of that chutney. <laughs> the sweetness and the cumin, kind of mirroring the cumin inside of the filling, it just, it just works.